Here's what's coming up. I often find myself having a hard time making these review kind of videos, and I realize it's probably because I try to talk about too much, which would be okay if I wasn't a lazy sack of sugar honey iced tea or if I knew how to actually write a script. To counteract this, I've decided to put all five of my working brain cells into talking about one aspect of Kung Fu Panda 4 that I didn't like the most, that being its main villain, the chameleon. But first, do you like posters? If so, support me by purchasing a poster off the Poster Boys website, a website made by me and my dorm mate because we want money. More information at the end of this video, if you stick around. Kung Fu Panda 4 is the continuation of Poe's story in the Kung Fu Panda film franchise that honestly should have ended at 2. Featuring the lovable fluffy protagonist Poe and his friends, the Furious Five. Oh, wait. That they're not in this movie. But that's okay, because we have Zhen, a new character from this universe's version of Times Square, who is played by the renowned actress Aquafina. God damn it, I hate this woman. Okay, okay, obviously this movie has a lot of issues, and I'd love to spend all day talking about the things that I didn't like about it, but as I stated in the beginning, we're focusing on only one aspect that I don't like. But it would be dumb of me not to mention all the things that I didn't like. So real quick, I'm just going to give you a list of the things that I didn't like without any form of explanation. Because that is exactly what you came for. Okay, rapid fire. Let's go. No Furious 5. Barely any Shifu. Basic character designs. Predictable story. Funny yet important subplot. Bad jokes. Very bad jokes. Horrible pacing. Lack of depth. Aquafina. Not enough Tai Long. Lying about there being enough Tai Long. Disrespect towards Lord Shen. Lying about there being respect towards Lord Shen. Super misleading trailer. And finally, a shitty villain. Now there's probably a lot more that I don't like about this movie, but I'm just gonna stop here because I wanna get into the nice old entree. So let's go. Why is the chameleon a terrible villain? Before we begin, I'm not a writer. I can't say with certainty that I could come up with something better as, again, I'm not a writer. The majority of what I'm saying is because I have the power of hindsight and I definitely spelled that wrong. Hell, I could barely write this script without dying of stupid, so I'm not trying to say anything here. The chameleon is the main villain of Kung Fu Panda 4, who was denied the ability to learn Kung Fu due to her small size. So instead she turned to sorcery. What form of sorcery? Who the hell knows? Who'd she learn it from? Who the hell knows? Why did I watch the movie? Cause it's better than the Doom Syndicate. Oh, for two DreamWorks, come on, man. She learns the ability to steal Kung Fu, whatever that means, and sets out to steal all, oh my God, I almost choked. And sets out to steal all the Kung Fu from past villains and masters from the spirit world. Oh yeah, and she has the ability to transform into whoever she wants. Okay, cool. We've got the basic description out of the way. So why is she a bad villain? The biggest issue with the chameleon is that she has no- God, I hate this movie. The chameleon has no presence, nothing that makes her interesting. Every other villain had a presence to them that made them feel like a villain. They felt like they posed an actual threat to the main cast. Not to mention, they were just so badass. Like when we're introduced to Tai Lung for the first time, he breaks out of the highest security prison we've ever seen using nothing but a feather and pure determination. Like how the fuck do you do that? Cause I don't know. When we see Lord Shen for the first time, he defeats two Kung Fu masters and kills Kills one of them. Keep in mind, that master, Poe was praising that guy. And when we're introduced to Kai, he defeats Ugwe in the spirit realm. Ugwe! And later on in the movie, after we're introduced to these villains, they go on to do some crazy stuff, with Tai Lung defeating the Furious Five, Lord Shen taking over that tower and then defeating the Furious Five, and then Kai, who destroys the Jade Palace and, again, defeats the Furious Five. I'm gonna go a little bit off track here, and I'm saying the fact that they didn't introduce the Furious Five is actually, actually just super criminal. Not only because I love the Furious Five, but if you were paying attention before, I said basically every single villain we've seen before defeated the Furious Five, considered to be China's finest warriors. When you have your villain defeat the finest warriors in China, they kind of scary. The first three movies had villains that were having young me shivering in my boots. And in this movie, when we first see the chameleon, she kicks some random Joe down the stairs. That's it. I don't see this character as a threat to anyone of the Jade Palace. You put the chameleon in a 1v1 with any other of these guys on the screen, she's dead, done for, donezo, finite, it's over. Even if we move past her physical abilities or presence, she's just not interesting at all. She has no real characteristics, no character arcs, she barely has any screen time. Like, come on, DreamWorks, what are we doing? So we know she has no villain presence, we know she has no interesting traits, and we know she's whack overall. How do we fix this, you might be asking. What what do we add to this character or this movie to make her a better villain? 
Well, let me tell you right now, the way to fix it is to not make the movie. No, seriously, that's not a joke. We don't need this movie. We didn't need any more Kung Fu Panda movies. The third movie wrapped up Poe's story in a great way and the trilogy was solid. I didn't even think they needed a third movie. I think the third movie is a little bit extra, but even so, this fourth movie goes beyond that. It is extra, extra plus. This is the premiere membership of extra. I I'm gonna go off script for a little bit. I wanna talk about the time where movies used to end, where we would get a story, whether it have a sequel or not, the story used to end. We didn't have endless movies, endless TV shows, endless spinoffs. Movies used to just be a nice story we could watch and enjoy. And it was sad when the movies would end, but it would have been more sad when we got a sequel that did nothing but make us miss the original. You don't make a sequel just for the sake of moolah. Well, I guess they, they did in this case. But when it comes to story, when the story is concluded, that's it. I miss the days when movies used to end. Like, those are some good days. All right, well, I've complained enough and I'm starting to get tired. So I think this is a good spot to end the video. But before you go, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can support me by purchasing a poster from my website, Poster Boy, which is linked in the description. As a college student, part-time worker, and professional complainer, money can get very tight. So if you wanna support me and therefore support the channel so I can make more videos like this, head over to the website in the description and get yourself a cool poster, cause why not? And with that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you next time I'm going to bed.